Hello and welcome to yet another episode. We have a special coverage episode of, we call it What's Inside. What's Inside simply shows the ma machines uh, what is inside when you open, for example, uh, what is in inside in, uh, in that equipment. Because most people, most clients, they use machines for years, but they don't know what's inside, what is it made of, what is making the noise, what is uh, uh, the issue with the machine. So it, these episodes will come to you every Friday of every last month, last Friday of each month, we'll be able to do different equipment to showcase what's inside. So for today, we have a single deck, two tray, gas powered oven. This oven is only 100 watt, which is 0 0.1 kilowatt. It's very less uh, in terms of power usage. So let's take a look. By the way, I have my technician here, Joseph. He's been working in uh, this industry for 10 years. He will open up for us so that we can learn what's inside this oven. Let's take a look. So that's it. Looks complex, but actually it's very simple. This is the gas inlet. So you will connect your gas here. We've already powered it uh, on a single phase uh, energy source, which is about 220 volts, because this oven is 0 0.1 kilowatt single phase. So your gas uh, tube will come here. As you see, this gas is as it's entering, uh, there are these two solenoids which control the gas. And it's divided immediately uh, into upper chamber and lower chamber heating. The way the oven heats up, upper and there's an upper heating uh, tube and a lower heating tube. So for the upper tube, there is a, this is a regulator for the flame because Think of this like a kind of a stove. Uh, when you are using a stove, you need to tune the, the flame, maybe to give a blue, high quality flame. So this is the same thing here. So you just, if you notice the flame going yellow or something, you come open here and adjust the upper flame. And also you do the same for the lower flame. So the gas is flowing, going uh, uh, down compartment. This is going for upper compartment. And here is very simple. This is what we call the igniter. And the work is simply to ignite the gas. So, so th this is the other important component. So each compartment has an igniter, the upper and the lower. And finally, as usual, this is the upper temperature control. This is the lower temperature control. And this is the timer, as you can see from here upper temperature control, lower temperature control, the timer. As simple as that. So let's try to see a simple demonstration of how it works. So first of all, as I said, this is the upper tube. So the, the gas comes through here and it's, this tube has holes. So it ignites and the flame comes here, blue flame. The same thing inside here, there is a similar tube for the lower compartment. So let's try to ignite and see what happens. So I'm putting all the controls on. Let me try to increase the temperature. You'll see it's tr you try to ignite the, the flame there. You can see it's trying to ignite the flame, but we have not connected the gas. And because we have not connected the gas, it will trigger an alarm or something. That is a warning that you have not connected the gas or so. So that is a simple mechanism. So there is a similar tube down here and it's done the same thing. This is most important also for exhaust. Mechanism for the oven. And that's it. Of course, the other important thing is to mention the oven is 100% stainless steel. High quality. Remember, Bakewell uh, is offering very high quality ovens. This oven it's about 95 kilos, all the spare parts, the gas accessories, the temperature controls, the timer, plus one year warranty, all for you. 
That's why BakeWave is your best deal for, for all baking equipment. With those few remarks, I hope you enjoyed our today's episode of What's Inside. Remember to follow us on YouTube and subscribe to our, our bell because we'll have so many such episodes. We want you as a baker to have a general knowledge of what's inside your machine. Thank you so much for watching this.